Well, good morning on this Wednesday morning. I want to tell you a little story that I read not too long ago. A Sunday school teacher was teaching a children's Sunday school class and was teaching the story of Jonah from the Old Testament. And this is the way that story reads in the scripture. And the Lord appointed a great fish to swallow up Jonah. And Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. Then Jonah prayed to the Lord, his God, from the belly of the fish, saying, I called to the Lord out of my distress, and he answered me. And the Lord spoke to the fish, and it vomited out Jonah upon dry land. When the teacher finished reading the story, she asked the children, You've heard the Bible story of Jonah and the quail. What does this story teach us? Tommy? And Tommy answered the question. It teaches us you can't keep a good man down. Right on, Tommy, she said. You can't keep a good man or a good woman down. Folks, that's what I want to say to you today. Perseverance is a wonderful gift. The ability to keep on keeping on, the ability to hang in there, as the saying goes. And that's what I want to encourage you to, today, to hang in there. School starts today. And you know what that means. When school starts, the fall is not too far behind. When the fall starts, Christmas, Thanksgiving, the end of the year comes almost sooner than we can ever expect. My hope and my prayer is by the end of this year, which is not that too far distant, we will be able to see a bright light at the end of this darkness, that we will approach the ability to come back to something like the life we had before this pandemic began. I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to hang in there. I want to urge you to do the same. And I want to remind you that while we hang in there, while we persevere, to keep on doing something every day that makes a difference. Reach out to each other. Encourage one another. Pray for each other. I'm so glad that our worship team has started including a prayer list on Sunday morning of our worship service. Use those reminders to pray for those who so very much need it. Thank you for listening to these Wednesday words of encouragement. Heavenly Father, bless the people of the Gaston Oaks family. Give them good courage. Give them encouragement. Give them your peace and grace and help us to hang in there, to keep on keeping on to persevere through the darkness until the day the light comes again. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.